All right, hello again, everybody. So, um, as uh, discussed in a previous video, we're going to little do a little bit of a longer explanation of how to mine the customer or the vendor data from your system. Uh, previous video, we we showed you how to run a quick list of your customers from Business One and dump it into Excel. That that actually works equally well with vendors too. Um, this time around, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to use the campaign generation wizard to essentially create a a list of contacts in your system. So, um, you know, you might have a number of business partners in your system that are customers, and on those customers, there may be more than one contact per customer. So, the campaign generation wizard and the campaign system will al allow you to generate that list, and then we can take a look at what you can do with that list. It, certainly you can use the campaign system to manage uh, you know those those campaigns or reach outs within business one I'm not going to go into the details of of how you can send from the campaign system I'm really just going to tell you about how you can create a campaign list how you could uh, you know you know what what it looks like to kind of work with the basic object and how you could potentially export that to use in um, other places like let's say for instance you use MailChimp to do your your email campaigns um, that sort of thing. You are able to use the campaign system to to email from the system, but we're not going to discuss that today. That's that's enough for another webinar um, uh, at a, at another time. So the campaign system is available in two of the modules in Business One. So if you're running uh, Business One 9.3 or higher, you'll see this module called CRM. And the CRM module isn't anything new other than it's really just sort of a consolidation of some of the things that are parts of the CRM module but never really put under the title CRM. So we've got business partners activities and then you can see we also have the campaign generation wizard and the campaign itself. These same menu items are also available under the um, business partner menu as well. So we've got campaign generation wizard and campaign. So uh, what does it look like? So let's click on on the campaign really quick. Essentially what we have here is we've got an object in business one uh, that's meant to form the basis of a list. So what is a campaign? Well a campaign is essentially a marketing exercise, a sales and marketing exercise. And you know, you know, if you if you're not used to campaigns, if you've done campaigns before, you probably know what it means. But if you've never done it before, essentially a campaign is a a thing that you're doing to reach out to your customer base or your vendor base. So it could be an email campaign um, that's meant to highlight some promotions or some information or really anything. Um, and in business one you can specify this as an email campaign, a mail, a fax, a phone call, uh, SMS. Uh, now <clears throat> the SMS feature in business one isn't something that's used fairly often uh, so I would caution you to think that these are things that you could do uh, necessarily easily but certainly what we've got is an object here that will uh, derive us a quick list so let's assume that we want to generate a list for the purposes of um, uh, you know an email campaign and you know you can specify who the owner of the campaign is here now I did this by just simply launching the campaign object and then filling it in manually. But you can go through the campaign generation wizard, which will take you through step by step sort of the choices that you need to do to generate a campaign. So if I launch this wizard, I mean, these wizards are great. They're a step by step guide. They'll tell you. So uh, campaign generation options. You know, I'd like to create a new campaign, or I'd like to create one based on an, an existing campaign, or load a saved campaign, or run an executed campaign again. So these are all choices. If you've never created a campaign before, you have to start with this first one, but know that these other options are there. You can save your campaign sort of as a template, and you can use it in future. So let's say um, our campaign is, uh, uh, the name of it is, how are you doing and um, you know our com our remarks is uh, campaign uh, to check on customers during these troubling times okay so we'll go ahead uh, so the campaign has a name now uh, it's of type email 
and uh, we're going to target customers for this. If we wanted to, we could specify a target group of customers, and we don't have any uh, target group group set up yet. This isn't just the customer uh, group, by the way, from the Business Partner Master. This is um, a special type of targeting group that you can define within the campaign module. So this doesn't have to match your customer groups. Um, you know, you can, th this could be anything like customers that typically buy these types of products or this type of customer, this industry of customer, the, these kinds of things. This is more, f this is more of a marketing tool than it is a, you know, a, an accounting and operations tool. Uh, okay, so we can specify a group, but we don't have to. Um, we can specify who the owner is. So in this case, I'm logged in as somebody. Uh, start date of the campaign. So we'll start it today, and we can end it. This isn't strictly important if all you're really using this to do is to generate a campaign list. But let's say we're running it from today till the 31st. Now, we can also specify items that we would like to link to this campaign. So if the campaign was actually to do with a promotion on an item or a range of items, we could indicate that here. Also, we can specify other um, business partners. And uh, again, this is, uh, uh, I believe this list is actually defined um, uh, this is actually the same partner list that's present in the sales opportunity module in business one. Uh, so it pulls it in here. Can you see with the marks? Now campaign template, if you are using the system to actually auto send emails out from the campaign system, here's where you can actually specify a, uh, I think maybe a Word or an HTML template. Again, yeah, text file, HTML files, or graphic files. You can specify a template for the campaign. However, we're not gonna get into that uh, particular aspect today, okay? Um, so here we go. Now, uh, target BP. So it's asking us to now choose who's on the list. Um, so to do that, uh, the list initially comes up blank. And you can see just in the bottom right hand corner of this target BP screen, um, add, import, or clear. Now, uh, you can import names of prospects from an Excel sheet. And that's what this import button is about. Again, this is probably another tangent that we don't have time to cover today, but this import tool is very similar to the import tool in the main menu that deals with the importing of business partners, importing of price lists, importing of items. So you could have a spreadsheet that specifies the uh, columns, uh, or sorry, the 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 information on your prospect, so name, contact, person, email address, or what have you, and you could use this tool to import what's in that spreadsheet into here. Now, uh, quite frankly, a lot of people use this particular form to actually get the list of contacts from Business One and dump it into a spreadsheet, but just know that you can actually do this. Um, but I'll click on the Add button. And uh, here we can specify a range of customers if we'd like to. So just this, this customer to this customer. We can specify a customer group if we'd like to. Um, or we can also select any of the business partner properties. So like let's say we were just doing a campaign to reach out to key customers. It would only add names to the list that were or business partners that were flagged with the key customers. And when you first click on this properties, notice how it says ignore properties. You have to uncheck this in order to actually pick a property. So this would be uh, driven by the fact that you're already using business partner properties. If you are not, then then obviously you'd have to set that up. So we'll just go uh, back. Now, um, I'm not going to pick, uh, I'm not going to filter the range of business partners. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add um, all of the contacts from all of the business partners. And what happens here, and I'm just going to fit column width so that this is more comfortable. Um, what happens here is that all of the default contacts from each one of the customers are, are added. And um, I think in this case, I don't really have any uh, customers that have, uh, let's just check on this here. Uh, ah, we do have two contacts here. So um, might have to just investigate how we pull 
other contacts from a company in there because we've got a uh, machina there okay but we'll we'll take a look at that uh, in the second and um, you can use this system to uh, create activities so uh, with this flagged check what this is going to do is it's going to create an activity for the user specified now we can control this after we we pull the names into the campaign list okay but the, this is all of the information that's going to be pulled in okay all right we're going to click next um, so we can save this and exit or we can save it and execute you can see that um, there's a number of other selectors so if I say save and exit it's not going to give me the further options but if I save campaign and execute there's a number of other things that you can select here like generate external list uh, send email using Microsoft Outlook um, send using the SBO mailer um, this send fax would uh, require that you have the f the business one to fax thing set up not a lot of people have that uh, or uh, to generate a, uh, a URL and that you would have to configure uh, that template that we saw before I think in order for this to to work but let's let's generate an external list here so we're gonna go ahead now uh, with this selected what happens is that um, it automatically launches uh, sort of a, a dump to Excel so this was similar to using the um, uh, this is similar to using the um, uh, OCRD query to dump a list now I'm not sure that I really like the way that this has been formatted here so uh, it's possible that we will not want to do that actually let's go back to the campaign generation wizard we're going to load a saved campaign Oh, sorry we're gonna run an executed campaign again ah no we're not gonna do that okay that's all right so uh, it looked like uh, really after you ran the campaign and said generate the external list that was it for that campaign so there you go we'd have to create a new campaign again if we wanted to populate so that's a quick rundown on the wizard um, but I think maybe what we'll do a uh, second time around is we'll just quickly do this manually because it's not really all that difficult it might give us a better um, it might give us a better result so let's just say uh, the campaign uh, is reach out to customer so I've launched the campaign object directly I haven't gone through the wizard but you can see I in, instead of using the wizard I'm really just sort of manually entering the fields that the wizard helped to auto populate for us so in the remarks we'll say a campaign to reach out to customers in this time of uncertainty okay so you might re you might prefer and you can you might prefer the manual generation of the campaign you can see the target groups here uh, status open finish cancelled so we'll just keep it on open uh, start date is today or it defaults to today we'll say end dates the 31st okay and then um, what we'll do now instead of using that other connector or sorry that uh, that other interface for adding business partners to the list is we'll put our cursor in the BP code field um, and we will select let's say the whole range of customers okay so we get them all in the list you can see the various information fields are are populated here okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click add to that um, it adds the campaign as sort of a master data object and then it kinda goes to a new one in sequence so if I want to go back there I'll press the green arrow there we go and you can see we've got names we've got email addresses now to quickly review uh, to quickly review uh, some of the fields um, that are in here so we've got the business partner code name uh, whether an activity is created yes or no um, so there'd be a number of activities created to the user uh, and we could have specified before this this campaign was created 
um, but essentially what we've got here and we can we can um, assign these activities to whoever we'd like to in the system be it an SAP system user or an employee group or what have you but if I go to one of these activities you can see um, here it is there's the last customer in the list Williams Machine Limited and you can see that it's been assigned to this and the activity comes here so these are all activities that um, Chad can follow up on in the system and uh, create some notes okay so you can just do it like a regular kind of activity and you can see that the document it's linked to is the campaign management document and it actually tags it to the campaign number which is uh, number eight okay and then we can update the activity um, and it'll update the campaign okay um, so we got contact, first, last name. This is, these are all things that are transferred to the activity if you're using activities. Uh, telephone address. Um, here we've got response. So if somebody responded to the reach out, you could check this flag here. You could identify uh, response type. So there's a couple of default response types here, interested, not interested, or you can define what um, you know response type you like. Uh, so the two here are system generated um, and they stay there, although I believe you could probably deactivate them. And then you can put as many different response types as you'd like. Um, you can also on this line track, uh, uh, you know, associated sales opportunities, quotations, orders, deliveries, invoices. So. Uh, let's say on the last line, uh, the person represented here was interested in receiving a sales quotation. You could actually link that sales quotation right here or even just create a new one right from uh, this particular window. So the campaign object does give you the ability to sort of manage activity around uh, a reach out campaign uh, if you like and just see what, who's responded, who hasn't, you know, campaign statistics, that sort of thing. Okay, and then if we wanted to, uh, like let's say we didn't want to use this particular object uh, for reach out, I believe we can also dump this to Excel. And we're just gonna quickly do that here. And there you go. I like this output a little bit better than the one that got dumped from the campaign wizard. It's a little cleaner. We've got uh, business partner name, code, um, and everything you know all the contact information so this this Excel list could be then used in any way that you want uh, you could just you know do a campaign in Excel or you could upload to MailChimp or port to another external uh, source what have you okay so that's a quick tutorial on how to use the campaign uh, wizard. Uh, there's a lot there. Um, I didn't really get into the tabs on items and partners. Again, you can specify the campaign as being for a certain type of items. With partners, you can put attachments against the campaign. Hopefully that helps. Um, if you're interested in any further uh, reading on this, a really good resource uh, online would be the SAP Business One uh, help portal. And to get there, um, we're just going to go to Google and we'll quickly say SAP Business One Help Portal. And it takes you to this page here, which is a new landing page that SAP did. And you can see it's got SAP Business One. And right now it's 10.0, but you can actually toggle between older versions. And it will sort of modify the content of what's here for older versions of SAP. And you can see we've got the what's new documentation, uh, roadmap, all that kind of stuff. But over here under application help, question mark, we've got the uh, access to the uh, sort of the online portal for application help. So if I click on this one, uh, 9.3, I'm right into the online help documentation. And then I can click on say business partners and we can click on campaign management and away you go. There's more information on accessing that feature. So thanks very much for the, your attention on this longer video and uh, please comment uh, below if you have any further questions and uh, good luck out there.